Good morning. It's Thursday, November 19th. Yesterday, I had the, the field trip showing you the chair and the fire trap. And talking about, we've been, I've been talking about size. <clears throat> and, and there used to be a, a thing in grad school, if you can't make it good, make it big. If you can't make it big, make it shiny. So the implication is that the truly good things are small and not shiny. But in the case of the chair and the fire trap, they're the size that they are to do the work they're going to do. The fire trap's going to be in a wood kiln from, from floor to ceiling. And the fire is going to break around it and through it because there are tunnels and so forth. And, it, and that helps, in effect, decorate things behind it. Um, Anyway, it's complicated. But related to size is weight. Um, if you're doing something like a coffee cup, you actually have a lot of leeway about weight. Um, although I'm going to quote a couple of people here. Um, when, when you're looking at a, at a coffee cup, you're mostly judging by the thickness of the handle and the thickness of the rim. Because until you pick it up or touch it, you can't judge the wall thickness. So based on that, the thickness of the rim and the thickness of the handle, someone's going to have a judgment about it. Um, uh, my professor Chuck Hines, his theory was that it should look the, it should be the weight it looks. So it's equally bad to go to pick it up and go, Rah! or to pick it up and go like this because it's so much lighter than it looked. You're you're trying to making functional objects create an environment of confidence where they are confident that they have um, the right pot for the, the job. Now, tied in with that, my friend Doug has brought up the issue of, well, yes, but they also need to feel empty when they are empty. <laughs> and I just, you can make things a little too sturdy. Um, Bunny had a story of a, a, a grad student who prided himself so much in making thin, light objects that he actually got burned by it. He sold a, a pitcher to a family at a fair in the morning, and they came back in the afternoon because they'd taken it home and cheerfully put ice in it on the way to doing whatever, and the ice had gone right through the bottom. I mean, all he could do was, you know, offer them an exchange and maybe take it as a lesson that some utilitarian objects need to be heavy enough to be utilitarian. Anyway, good luck. Have a good day.